Hi everyone, it is a new week. I have really balls this up because I thought I had, oh that's a good light. Oh. I thought I had forgotten my vlogging camera, so I did a little bit on Instagram stories and then I just carried, now I'm blind. Okay, hang on, calm down. Um, so I did a bit on Instagram stories and thought, oh, I'll just start the vlog tomorrow then, it's too late. And then I found my camera in my case. Uh, I'm in a hotel room in Windsor uh, and I have spoken today at the, that light's not good, not that I'm obsessed, but I am kind of. Um, I've spoken today at the Babtac conference in Windsor and I didn't want to stay over because I can drive home. So uh, a pal of mine has let me gate crash her bedroom and get changed and get dressed. Are you decent or are you half naked? Oh, she's half naked. I can't quite go in there yet. <laughs> um, I have gate crashed the bedroom of one Ali Young, who you will all know as the queen of QVC. Um, so we've been in up here basically shooting the breeze, chatting about the importance of things like qualifications, which is what you would talk about when you're at a Babtac conference. And I wanted to vlog this week because I go to LA on Wednesday for stuff that is much fun. Oh, I can come in. Oh, look, here we are. Oh, very nice. <gasps> look, we we've could matched. be like Bucks Fizz. No, we've done it, haven't we? Navy, Navy and pink. pink. This is Ali. If you don't know Ali, Hi, she is the. Everyone. How long have you been on QVC? 25 years. Yeah, 25 years. Yeah, beauty yeah. for 35 years. So between so. us, we have 70 years experience. There you go. Don't look a day over yeah, 25. Yeah. No. Uh, but you don't but just do QVC. Know each 20 years? A long time. 20 years we've known each other. A long time. But we yes. don't look it. Look. No. Look. No. You don't look <laughs> old enough to have only children? 27 kids. Yeah. No. Four kids. Four kids. Yeah. Just the four. And yeah. you have 27 horses. Yeah. 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 Not quite that many. Keep them up. Um, but I, I'm so shoes. pleased I found my camera because now I, we get to be on camera. Uh, and then I get to show you the yes. awards later, which is basically because everyone thinks that spas and therapists and clinicians are all very serious and it's all about the treatments and actually they're no, a bunch them of a drink. raucous give animals. Give them a drink and they So that'll be. be fun. I'm glad I found my camera. Yeah. And you get to see Ali Young's actual wardrobe. How many, yeah, uh, you just accuse me, how many dresses do I need for look, one event? So let me just, so uh, this is, I don't know how many events, but she's here for one night, one, people. One, one night, a few options. One night, and then this is the shoes. best bit. Look at this. A few options of shoes. Like one, two, three, three. four, five, six, seven. Eight options, options of, of shoes. shoes. But this is how I know you're all men after my own heart. It, as this, is this, is this just bottle. in case? Yeah. <laughs> Never travel without a hot water bottle. Can't stand cold or cold rooms or drafts or anything like that. See, mine yes. is, I'm going to LA on Wednesday and I will pack flannels. Yeah. And Twining's English breakfast tea bags. Yeah. HP sauce. No, I can live without HP sauce. I can't live without tea. I'd kill someone. So more of later. Thank you for letting me gate crash right. your bedroom. I'm glad you said gate crash this time. No, I actually said before I'm going to crash in her room. And I was like, no, I'm not actually going to get into bed. Although, to be fair. It's a big enough bed. It is a very nice bed. I just meant gate crash. Sort my face out and then get back downstairs to the bar. Although I'm not partaking, I'm driving home. But you're not driving home, are you? Yeah, I'm not driving home. But I've already, uh, I'm only on about two hours sleep. And I'm meant to be on the stage as well for all evening. So... Yeah, you are the hostess with the mostest yeah, this evening. Yeah, giving all the awards out for Babtac and everything. You're coming up and doing some awards. I am coming I'm up to present an award. Comparing. Yes, so here we have Compare yeah, with compare. the mostest and presenter yeah. of one award awards. with the mostest. Right, well I did really well filming the awards, didn't I? They did actually happen. <laughs> I didn't make it up. Um, Alice and I ended up doing quite a bit of co-hosting together and I'm now at home in bed. Thank you, God. It was only in Windsor, so I drove home. I'm going to be home in half an hour, you know. Um, now, tomorrow, I thought I'd vlog this week because I've just done those awards. Saw Ellie Young, that was fun. Just try not to look at yourself. Um, tomorrow, I am having lunch with Victoria Beckham. Not just me. I'm sure there'll be a huge amount of other people there for the launch of her Victoria Beckham Beauty. I thought there was going to be skincare, and I don't know if there is. If it's just colour... We've seen all that in the mags over the weekend, so I'm hoping it's a peak of the skincare, but I guess we'll see. And then on Wednesday, I'm flying to LA to do something fun and fab with Kate Somerville. Um, we're doing kind of something together over the next month. Actually, that makes it sound like it's much more mysterious than it is. I'm going to an award ceremony with her, and she is coming to one with me. Um, it'll be much cooler when it happens. So I thought, yes, I should vlog. And... It's also a nice opportunity to vlog Ali Young, who's always on TV, but never on YouTube, i.e. QVC. Uh, yes, if you're an American or you don't, you're not sort of 
aware of what goes on in the UK. Ali Young is like the queen of QVC beauty over here in the UK. She's been with them like 25 years. Um, so I just thought, say hello to her, get her on camera. I could have vlogged the awards ceremony. It was loud and noisy and lots of cheering and a little, some people are gonna have sore heads tomorrow. Leighton Denny, one entrepreneur of the year. Um, Zen Spa in Edinburgh uh, won like four, four or five awards and Jennifer Glenn won gold awards. So I will link to all of those people before. Jennifer Glenn is in Zen Spa in Edinburgh. So if you live in Edinburgh, lucky you, get thee to them. Um, yes, more to come. I've seen fellow. <laughs> I wasn't gonna vlog. Do you know where BBC is? Oh, so we, they were obviously we're hidden. There, we're hidden behind the tree. They've kept us out of the way. The woman of the hour is in front of me. I'm just gonna film this just for you, Adam. Right, there's Emma and Rosie and Bridget. Stealing your idea. Stealing my idea of me. Basically, that table left. Full, so we nicked all the makeup off their table so we could film because we didn't get this on our table and we didn't get this on our table and then these are the three pencils which I think sorry are my favorite that's not a bruise by the way it's makeup um, but yes this is the BB collection tilt that a bit nice 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 oh and here's here we go here's me and BB, but I'll drop the picture in. Caroline Hirons being so chilled. Always so chilled and calm. No one else is chilled. Caroline, chilled. Chill. No one else, chilled. I just sat down to do a catch up. I don't know if you can hear that. Max has learned how to play the piano. Stop it! Stop it! But the only, th what? The only thing he keeps playing to wind me up is the Halloween theme tune, which freaks me out. Like it literally gives me nightmares and he does it to torture me. Anyway, um, I tried to go back to the office after Victoria Beckham and nothing was happening. I don't know how people go out and have working lunches. I can't do it. If my brain isn't in the office first thing, then my whole day is ruined. So my day wasn't ruined because I obviously was at an event, that's fine. But what I mean is I couldn't make a habit of it. Um, so I came home because I have tons to sort out. I have bedroom product to sort out. I have parcels to send back and I go to LA on Wednesday. No more Halloween. Um, and I go to LA on Wednesday. So I really do need to get everything sorted and start having some idea of what I'm packing. <sighs> okay, proof I am the shittest blogger ever. Well, I'm just out of, out of sorts with it. It will improve though, because what happened was, <laughs> funny story, I did the Victoria Beckham launch, was really out of sorts afterwards, went into the office, walked in a circle around the office while people were saying, you gotta do this, you gotta do that. Took it all home, went home, which is where I filmed the bit of me sitting next to the bed, because that's all I felt like I had the energy to do. And then the next day, I had a visit, as we used to say, or Liverpool are playing at home. I had a monthly visit, if you know what I mean, ladies. And I thought that nonsense had stopped for me because I'm on HRT, another story to be told. But apparently not. And that's where Barry came. You'll know Barry if you're on Instagram. He's my boil bulbous spot that just appeared on my cheek out of nowhere. Um, so Barry paid me a visit along with the painters, as we say. Uh, I got my period. Why am I just, you, I don't need to use some movement. Anyway, focus. And then I was so busy yesterday because I had to prep for this. Oh. God, this is, basically I've just been on an 11 hour flight. So the vlog is about to pick up pace because this is where I am. Hey, Hollywood. Um, I'm in LA. Oh Christ, can you tell? I am, oh, I'm here. Um, it's not a work journey. It's not a sponsored thing. I'm here to see Kate Somerville. Uh, win an award, so I'm here as a mate. Um, paid for my trip, just putting that out there now. But she's staying in this hotel, so I thought I'm just gonna stay in the same hotel, it makes life easier. And also normally I stay a bit further west and that would be too much faff to get to where we need to be for the awards ceremony. 
obviously while I'm here I'm going to check in with everyone I'm going to see the guys from Pixie I'm going to I'm, I can't tell you how excited I am to do Sephora, Ulta, CVS, Target like I'm ready and I don't even want to spend a lot of money it's not that it's just I need to be in those stores the retail merchant part of me is like get me in there in the meantime let me show you this if I ever feel like I need to go anywhere or you know I'm tired of an evening that is the Viper room so I'll hear the noise from that while I'm asleep. Also, if I need to, opposite the Viper room, is a hustler. So you never know, Mr. Hirons, I could come home with some nice apparel. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am on, look, I love LA. Oh, so there's downtown LA, OBS. Uh, I'm at the London, which, and funnily enough, this reason made me think of turning the camera on, this is, I will link to this below, but one of my very first vlogs I did was from LA and this was where Pixie held that event. So that is one of my first forays into the area. But yeah, excellent hotel, wicked location. I also have a view around that side, which I'll show you. Look at that house up there. I mean, you know, I know it's rude to zoom in, but I'll take that one, please. Thanks very much. Look at that. That is all one house. I can see it from here. I don't know if it's clear. Anyway. I am kind of gutted that that Tower Records isn't open because if you watch um, Funky Monks, which is the Red Hot Chili Peppers documentary. Oh, wait, zoom away, zoom away. Good Christ on a bike. Um, the Red Hot Chili Oh, uh, hi. Hi. Thank you. Look what this is. It's my kettle. Thank you, sir. <laughs> the Brits in town, um, as I was saying. Tower Records is where Anthony Kiedis sits outside, let it adjust, I'm not that bright, uh, talking about how he wrote Under the Bridge and where he would go and score heroin. I'm not going to do any sightseeing there, but I am going to go and walk past Tower Records and just take a pic and send it to my mate Hev because we are obsessed with that Funky Monks, um, what is it? It's like a documentary, yeah, it's wicked. If you like the chili peppers and you haven't seen it, what's wrong with you? So, I'm gonna go and make tea. I don't think I need any more caffeine, I think you can tell. I drank quite a lot on the plane. <laughs> is it obvious? Um, but I've got shopping to do. Oh, and the best part is, I, <laughs> they're like, oh, well, we're so happy that you're coming, blah, blah, blah. We have to do something for you. That's, that's better. Oh, sorry. Look at this, don't. Look at Barry. Can you see him? You'll see him when I get my face done later because I'm going to Kate Somerville for a facial. That is on the house. Um, I don't know what I'm having. I said to Kate, you deal with it, I'll do whatever you say, boss. And she was like, excellent. So I'm not seeing Kate until tomorrow, but I'm going for a facial. I'm going to pop back into Violet Grey because it's next door. And I think I'll hit a pharmacy today. The excitement is palpable. I'll have a bit of ballet. Quarter past three in the afternoon. I am after all English. I'm sitting on the balcony of my hotel in a very nice dressing gown, I have to say. Having a brew. Mm -hmm. Proper, hardcore, Twining's English breakfast. I do have a problem, however. For some reason, I don't know why, because it's a nice hotel. It's not like it's one of those, I'm just gonna lean, I'm sorry, my arm is tired. It's not like one of those like motels where the the minibar is computerised. The minibar in this hotel is computerised. So I moved a bottle of Evian or Perrier out of the way to put my soy milk in the fridge, which by the way, cost me $15. So you know I'm keeping that bitch. So I put it in the fridge and then realised that they're probably gonna charge me every time I take the soy milk in and out of the fridge. That'll be an argument that they're not gonna win. Did I mention I'm on my period? Right, I've definitely hit the jet lag wall. <sighs> Croaky throat, totally bunged up. And I wasn't going to even vlog. I was going to put this down here, actually. <laughs> um, I wasn't going to vlog. I was just going to go to bed and vlog tomorrow and tell you about what I did today. When I just come back to the hotel room, I look like an absolute lunatic. I'm just going to come here. I've just come back to the hotel room and look what's on my... Look, look at this. First of all, how well do you have to know me to do a camo bag with a yellow CH? First of all, right? And like I said, I'm here as like a private citizen. This isn't like a press thing, but this is like the nicest press gift I've ever been given. And it's not a press gift. This is like a personal gift. Look at this, decaf and normal, 
a huge thing of Fortnum and Mason's biscuits. I haven't opened that yet, but I know it's stationary because of where it's from. <gasps> Come on. Look at this. It's Sue. A pile of Kate Somerville skincare and this is a bag of Kate Somerville flannels. Well, spank me on the arse and call me Fanny, but that is the nicest thing I've ever found in a hotel room outside of Mr. Hirons. Good morning, it's 5 a.m. in LA. I've been up since three o'clock. <laughs> I thought, oh, if I go to bed quite late. Oh, it's bright, isn't it? Uh, Barry's actually gone way down. This, can I just say, I've got that new Canon G7X camera, it's crap. The focus, everything behind me is in focus and I'm not actually, for you, that's a blessing today, but I'll just carry on regardless. Um, I'm just going to rest it down here on the high end of the bed because it's kind of a nice height. Uh, yeah, it's gone down massively. Um, yeah, I woke up at three and I thought, oh, if I keep going yesterday, then maybe it'll make me sleep through until the morning. It didn't. <laughs> I woke up at 3 a.m., 11 a.m. my time. Now I want lunch and it's 5 a.m. And I think I'm going to bang into the Itsu rice, yogurt rice cakes that were left in my room. Thank you so much for giving me breakfast without meaning to. Uh, I've already got the kettle on. Brew. We are a brewing. We are a brewing. Yums. Uh, I am in bed with Itsu, the title of my new cookbook. Um, I'm supposed to be trying to catch up with Josh Rosebrook today and I have dinner with Kate Somerville tonight, uh, but I also want to go shopping and I don't know whether to go over to Santa Monica or if I can be bothered. I might just do the Beverly Center and all the pharmacies around here and stay put. Because I think, I suspect I might, I might need a granny nap. Oh, although I'm not a grandmother, how dare you. Again, with the focus, look, let me see. The bed's in focus, that's in focus, me. <laughs> like I said though, maybe it is thinking, Jesus woman, you need a soft filter. Canon are gonna take care of that for you. <laughs> They're not, it's just a crap focus, but. Um, so I think I'm going to stay put and do tea, rice cakes, get up early and go shopping. And then I've got my facial today with Kate Somerville, which I completely cocked up. I thought it was yesterday. I turned up and they were like, oh, yeah, we have you in for 40, 45 tomorrow. And I was like, oh, please, Jesus, help me. Jesus, take the wheel. And now I'm back to country music in my head again. Totally worth getting up this early. Well... I didn't do it on purpose, let's not try and big myself up for an LA sunrise. Oh look, cars are actually moving in the roads too. You can't see it. It's so much more soft and hazy than it looks on this screen. Gorgeous. The irony of me scooping on uh, Zoom and finding that sign. Right, I have, I finally got up. It's 11 o'clock. That means I've already been awake <laughs> for hours. But what can you do? I'm gonna head out there, that being LA. And I've just discovered there is a tender greens, literally, in fact, that's probably it that I can see, the corner of that building. There's a Tender Greens about two, three blocks away. Tender Greens is my favourite, and when I'm here, I have to eat it in honour of Amanda, because she introduced me to it. We don't eat the same thing at Tender Greens, she being vegan, but, oh, Tender Greens is so good. And I think if I eat now, I might be... That My thinking is, if I eat now, have a bit of, like, a light lunch, I might not get tired and hangry. Also... Much more important than my problems, which there aren't, there aren't any, let's be honest. Well, I mean, Baza's a bit out of control, but that's fine. When I was in a car last night going literally at the end of this block, there is this amazing, huge, really niche bookstore and magazine store. And I'm not gonna lie, people, my nipples went a bit hard. So I'm gonna go and hit that. Nadine Baggett knows how much I love a magazine. So I'm gonna hit that too. I don't know when, but I'm gonna, do that I'm gonna do 10 degrees and I'm going to the Beverly Center and then maybe the Grove 
purely because I'm not suggesting that they are, oh hello, I'm not suggesting they're the best places to shop in LA, but they are nearest to me and I think I'm going to crash at some point. I have to go back to Kate Somerville for my <laughs> second attempt at getting a facial at quarter to five. Um, so I'm just gonna stay on this side of town and do Santa Monica on Saturday, which is annoying because everyone does San Santa Monica on Saturday, but go with the flow, do you know what I mean? It's <clears throat> 2.35 in the afternoon. Been up for 12 hours. Uh, I have to be at Kate Somerville in two hours. So I'm gonna try and have a power nap. Now this could be disastrous. It could knock me out for hours, but it, I'm gonna set an alarm, obviously. Also, I don't think we can, I think we can all agree I've never looked more attractive. Christ. Um, <clears throat> I've also started sneezing, which is special. Anyway, I'm not going to moan while I sit here in this hotel lovely room, hotel lovely room in Beverly Hills after just being shopping. I'm not going to do that because I'm not a twat. I'm just putting out there that I have felt better <laughs> in recent months. Oh, Kourtney Kardashian's having something injected into her head. Oh, uh, she's got a ball patch, baby loss, alopecia. I haven't seen this episode, <laughs> which is unusual for me. Um, also, I don't know why I'm tilted this way. I'll sit up. I do have things to share about my experience in Sephora and the Beverly Center and the Grove, but they can wait because frankly, holding this camera up is making my feet hurt. I don't know what else to tell you people. The jet lag is like through my body into my bones and ending at my toenails. That's a nice image. Okay, this is gonna be short. I was gonna film and be all light. Wow, this is amazing. I got on that bed and I got off that bed an hour later. I can vaguely remember what she did to me. My skin appreciated it muchly. Um, that is a post-facial glow. It's also deranged, haggard jet lag. I can't even Begin. Look, I can't even hold the camera. I cannot begin to enunciate and form a sentence that equates to the tiredness. So I'm not complaining, just letting you know why I'm not going to sit here and talk for hours. Uh, I'll see you in the morning. I've got my favourite LA hairdresser coming to sort me out, which I think we can all agree is long overdue. Good morning. Uh, I feel a bit more human, although I was still awake at 3 a.m. So I'm just gonna roll with it. It's fine. Um, Ashley is coming to sort this out for me. You would have seen Ashley before if you have watched any of my LA videos previously. I first met her when she came to fix my hair for a pixie event, and we just bonded. And she's lovely, and she just gets my hair. She's also married to a Liverpool fan and has two of the most adorable children on the planet, but that has nothing to do with it. Um, and then I'm meeting everyone downstairs at 11.30. Uh, I'm not too sure what the weather's gonna do today. I was gonna try and decide what to wear based on the weather. I think I'm just gonna go with, you will probably sweat as a dress code. Right, I've been Ashley'd, here she is. Hi. I'm gonna list Ashley below and where you can find her. You have to um, go and visit her. If you want, I can't, if you want a blow dry and a bit of a, you just do, you do everything, don't you? Yes, everything. She has everything. A little bit of this. this. Is Ashley. Uh, she'll be linked below. Okay, she I'm at the awards. Great. It's super loud. But look, this is like proper Hollywood. Look at this. There she is. Look how cute she is. I mean, she's sexy, but if I say that, she'll be embarrassed. I'm just going to call her cute. Okay, I'm sorry. I had to come over here out the way because it is, like, this is proper Hollywood shiz. I just turned around and there was a, the paparazzi were like, well, they're not even paparazzi, they're the official photographers, bumping me out the way. And I'm like, who is that? I can't really see properly. And then one moved out the way. It was Britney King Spears behind Christy Brinkley. I thought, why are the paps suddenly interested? Christy Brinkley's been here for 10 minutes. Oh no, 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 Britney. Britney's here, Britney bitch. 
and there's like loads of actors walking around and I'm like, I know that face, who is that? I think he's been in SVU, but let's be fair, most of Hollywood's been in SVU. So I'm very excited and I've got like two bars left on this camera because I thought it was going to be like just, you know, Britney, Britney Spears, I'm sorry. The name Kate Somerville has become synonymous with skincare empire. And behind every successful empire is a monarch. When Kate took on the world of skin treatment, it was to spare her clients the same struggles she experienced in her youth. Growing up with psoriasis and eczema, she became a dedicated paramedical esthetician and skin expert. Developing products tested by people with real skin concerns, it wasn't long before the Kate Somerville brand grew to be one of the most trusted names in the premium U.S. skincare market. This year, she is celebrating the 15th anniversary of a renowned clinic in the heart of Melrose Place. Frequented by the stars, top celebrities swear by Kate's cutting-edge treatments. Specializing in high-tech facials and non-invasive laser genesis procedures, each regimen is performed with Kate Somerville's incomparable cruelty-free product collections. Thanks, paying our bills. You guys kept 
that's gone on you. So for me, this is yours. And this is my team. So we left the awards, we left the awards, this one got changed in the car, Spanked. took the spanks off in the back seat of the car, that I could have filmed that, I would have made some money. Why are we? And then she and her gorgeous hubby Lander brought us here to El Coyote. So if you've seen Quentin Tarantino, once upon a time in LA, that's all filmed here. And you have to get the scratch margarita. Oh my god, how fucking bright is that? <laughs> Jesus. And now we're going to my hotel to grab my shit. Yeah, come into Santa Barbara. Because I'm going home with Kate Somerville. Yeah. So I woke up in Santa Barbara. I'm not going to show you anything of Kate's house until she's awake. It's so inappropriate. Um, the animals, I'm very stressed though because the animals are awake and they want feeding and they're looking at me like, I don't understand. Why isn't the English lady feeding me? And the dog wants me to play with him, which is all completely fine. I can do that part. So I've just been giving them treats. She might wake up and be like, yeah, they only have one treat a day. And it's a bit late, sorry. The cat's now chasing a spider. Uh, but every time I'm in Santa Barbara, I think there's a reason Oprah and Ellen live up here. It's like, it's like the universe went, I'm going to give you like mountains and some ocean and everything's going to smell amazing. It's all going to be green. I'm going to do that in Santa Barbara. I could so live here. Actually, I could live in Kate's house. Like I said, if she's around later and she wants to give you a little tour, I will show you. If not, you're just going to get my head and my David Coverdale hair. Um, and today we're going for a bike ride this morning and then hair and makeup for Kate and then her Sephora masterclass, which I'm going to gate crash. Kate crash, as one of you very kindly pointed out, very entertaining. And then I'd, we've been invited to some swanky party in Beverly Hills tonight. James doesn't even know this. But I'm not being funny, I'd rather shop. I don't need the pressure of standing next to people who are half my size, half my body weight, and look far more lifted and fresh. I don't need to do that. I don't care who they are, I don't care if they're famous. Although, kid you not, if Anthony Kiedis is there, that shit's going down. <laughs> we're, we're going out on bikes. And it's... <laughs> and... This is the hill. Like, it's not going to end well. <laughs> James, not, we're not going to be able to cycle for laughing. The hell? <laughs> yeah, we appear to be in heaven on earth. Just beach and trees and mountains. Well, that was more exercise than I've had in a long time. And I had a motorised bike, so I didn't even have to do a lot of work. Oh, uh, thankfully, Kate has a hairdresser here, so I'm going to get showered and redo the lovely hair that Ashley did for me yesterday. Because now it's covered in sweat. But you know, that's my view. Okay, we just got to Century City. The woman of the hour. It is so hot. I thought it was going to be like bearable. It's, and I'm in a sweatshirt. Like, why? That's okay, I can buy a t shirt. Now I have to find Sephora. Ready? Ready. Ready, Eddie. Ready, Eddie. Okay, we came back to the hotel. Kate did her event. Um, then she went off to have dinner and go back to Santa Barbara. James and I came back to the hotel. Um, I came back to my hotel, he went back to his. Also, I'm sorry about this lack of focus. It's Canon, it's not me. I'm doing everything right. Canon's new camera is apparently shite. Um, we'll just pretend I'm doing like a soft, but look at that. Look, it's supposed to be focusing. It's focusing on the bed. It's so random. Um, anyway, I've got to go downstairs because we are going to Santa Monica, which means I get to go to my favorite store, which is Alternative, because I do like a sweatshirt, as we know. Um, and we're gonna hang out there all night and do dinner there and blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, last night in LA.
Syracuse team. Yeah. 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 Hello guys, come and try some Peruvian cuisine. I have some samples for you. Come and try some fresh almost like that. We have fresh ceviche. I had all these great plans. I had bags out. I had bags out to show you. I was going to film what I bought. All these great plans. I forgot about a small matter. I had to check out. I got back here at quarter past one and they were like, oh yeah, Mrs. Hiring, your, your room was supposed to be vacated at 12. And I was like, oh, and I genuinely thought, oh, I'll hang around the hotel to like four. I'll get the car to the airport at five. And like, you know what you just think? You fucking moron. So I had a quick shower. Luckily, I'm an expert pro gold Olympic packer. I'm like, vroom, vroom, vroom. And then they came and knocked on the door at like one minute past two. And I'm like, I'm so sorry, it's ready, it's ready, please take it. So this is my last view of LA before I have to bugger off. There we go, it's adjusting. Oh, 